In this video, we're going to take a look at two instructions, two of the control instructions we have uh, outlined. One is going to be, the first one we're going to cover is the go to instruction. And the other one we're going to mention is call. And in another uh, couple chapters, we'll come back and revisit call in much more detail. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at go to. Go to is fundamentally the same as um, as uh, branch. One thing you notice both for the call and for go to, you will see that they actually contains the, 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 the size of the instruction is double the size of other instructions we've been discussing so far uh, because they are two word or four byte long and the same thing for call and go to and mainly because both of those instructions have the ability to access all of the memory therefore they need a big enough address to be able to reach the whole uh, space so before we go too far um, and, and, and we're going to get in future videos and talk about more specifically what the memory outline is and all that but enough to say that the program memory of this chip um, is equal to um, is equal to, can can be as big as two megabyte, and uh, you may you may recall or not you can figure it out that that means that two to the two two megabyte is two to the power of twenty one. So if I want to be able to address every byte in this thing, I have to have twenty one bits which basically means that my PC program counter has to have 21 bits. One thing you will notice is that both in call and in the go to, uh, the opcode is right here for the first, for the first uh, um, word of the instruction. And this is the opcode always for the second line. If you count the number of Ks, you'll find out that we have 20 Ks. So PCs are 21 bit, Ks are only 20 bits. So now the question is, if I just mentioned that you can reach from anywhere by make, doing a go to or a call to anywhere else in the memory, you have to have 21 bits. How could they do it with 20 bits? Well, the way it works out the programs are always in even number of bytes, either two or four. And they, so, so that, what that means is the program code always starts on an even boundary. So meaning that the zeroth bit of a PC for the first instruction is always zero. So what they do, they basically say, okay, if I can have K19 through k zero that's fine that's my 20 bit bits of k how do i translate that to pc i'm going to have my k19 be pc 20 bit 20 i'm sorry 20 yeah and then k zero is going to be pc one so now you might ask the question so what about pc zero we just said that the program always starts on an even boundary. So by definition, that's always equal to zero. Okay, so 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 if you're talking about a uh, conversion between these two, this is the conversion. So if you're going from PC to K, you just drop the least significant bit. If you're going from K to PC, you just add the zero to it and you're done. So let, let's, let's kind of explore this a little bit in the context of go to, and the same thing works exactly the same way for, um, for a call as well. So let's say, let's say we have been given, a, as an example, a, a, a program, a sample program, where the address of the code is in here, and then the instruction or the assembly code is here. So let's say at location 0x210 hex, we have an instruction says go to something called far step, whatever that is, okay? 
and then somewhere down the road we find this uh, this far step label with some there are probably some instructions in here there are more instructions here that's not of our interest and this location happened to be 0x3924 the beauty is that the assembly will take care of doing a machine code but at this stage of the game we have to be able to do that so so if i have a go to and go to basically as you can see this is the go to instruction up here so if i'm trying to write the machine code for this one i'm i know the the opcode is going to be 1101111 and then the opcode for the second line is going to be 11111 now so the question is what is my k well I know the PC, the next program counter has to be 3924. So I'm going to spell that out. So that basically says that, uh, let's, let's uh, yeah, we'll write it first. So, so the, from, from here, I can detect that my PC has to be 3924. 3 is 0, um, 1, 1, let's put another 0 in here then um, and then nine four is gonna nine is gonna be one zero zero one two is gonna be zero zero one zero and four is gonna be um, zero one zero zero so that's the pc almost we know the pc is 20 i only got 16 so how do i get to 21 bits by adding zeros until I get to 21 bit. So this is PC 20, and this hopefully is PC zero, okay? Um, so let's double check to make sure I did it. So four, two, nine, and three, and then the rest are zero. Now, what I'm gonna do, I gotta figure out what the K is. That's pretty straightforward. This is gonna be K 19, this is gonna this bed is gonna be k0 and we basically don't care what this one is because we know it's always zero okay so now what do i do now I'll go to the op codes now the machine code for this so now we're doing the machine code for that instruction and the machine code is gonna be uh, one 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 zero one 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 and the second word is going to be one 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 and these are the opcodes okay so well so now the if those are the opcode then we got to take the case k0 one two three four five six seven k0 through k7 go up here so you're going to have one zero zero one zero zero one zero okay and then k7 to k19 go below which is going to be 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay let's double check to make sure we got this right okay so 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 goes here and then 1 uh, up to here goes up here this is k0 k7 and this is going to be k8 through k19 and we're going to double check to make sure we that, did that right looks pretty good okay so one two three four five yeah 20 okay 21 bets for pc so this is going to be the opcode for this particular instruction um, and we, of course, if, if you look in the memory, what's going to happen um, is if, you, if you're looking in the memory and looking for this particular code, the least significant of the first board ends up here. So if you write this, this is in program memory. And the location is where the go to started, which was 0x210. So we start with least significant, which in this case would be 9, 2 in hex. 
the next word is going to be the most significant, which is E, F. The next word is going to be the least significant, which is 1, C, and F, 0, and that's that. That was our go-to instructions, all the way to the machine code. All right, so the call, if you look at the call, it looks very similar to the same case, same way of finding the case, and then it's a call. Um, and that is this S, if you're wondering what that is, that is a way for us to keep some of the data around so they don't get lost. And for now, let's assume it's a zero. So what will end up, the opcode is there, the K is there, and call is very, very similar to go to. So we would, let's say, let's say we are sitting at location 236 and we make a call to new function. Some, okay. And there's other stuff here. Let's say, let's say this is move LW25 and let's say that's a decimal. And then let's say we have a new function down here. And let's say this is an address 0x2564, random. So these are the addresses of the instructions. Okay. And then here we'll do some stuff. Let's say there's an there's a add LW52. This time we'll do a hex. And then a bunch of other things. And at some point you can say return. And that's the big difference between call. Call, uh, call and go to. Go to when you go someplace unless somebody doesn't go to and returns you to where you were, there's no way for you to get back. The beauty of this is, as you know, the functions can do this. This, as soon as the instruction hits this return, it goes back to the instruction right after the call, which makes it for a very nice uh, way of creating function calls, basically. All right, so let's do one more thing and then we are pretty much uh, done with this video talking about call and go to at this juncture. Let's say, let's say uh, we were given uh, the, the program memory contains um, following. If you put an address in here, and let's say the address is 0x100 and we look in the program memory and we see 0x25, 0xef, um, f, oops, 0xf0 and then 0x06. So these are the values we see clean this up a little bit and then of course the memory goes on and they're asking us that what is this instruction of course you can take a look at this and you say really this is what it is 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 it I looks we don't know yet we're gonna we don't know if it's two word or four word we're gonna first take this two first two word and when we take the first two word the second byte becomes the most significant and the first byte is the least significant. Then if we turn it into binary and the binary says, so this is basically this. It says this is 11101111. And then we're gonna go up here and try to look for an instruction EF110 and all that. And so since we were talking about go to, this looks a lot like a go to. And that's a K. Okay, great. So, so we got to go to, and this this tells us it's an opcode for go to, and then this piece is the K's, and when we look at the instruction, that's K zero through K seven. So twenty five is basically two, uh, which is zero. Uh, 0, 1, 0, and 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1, okay? And then uh, the next byte that we look at the next stage is uh, basically the least significant bed is F0, most significant, oops, uh, 
and I got this backwards sorry about that so let me go back and fix this so it makes a little more sense it should be 0 6 here and F 0 here for it to work okay so if I if I were to if I were to do that then my instruction would be F 0 0 6 and of course the F0 if you break it out it's going to be 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 and 6 is going to become 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 okay which basically says this is remember the F the, this one just basically says this is a second word of an instruction this is an opcode which is a second word of a two word instruction but this values here and here are this is basically tells of the k0 to k7 was there k8 to k19 is here so we know it's a go to just got to figure out where is it going to in order to do that let's go ahead and write the k all out in one linear form so we have an easier time to look at zero 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 one one zero 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 one zero zero one zero one again this is k19 and this is k0 and if you recall in order for us to be able to build a pc we have to add a zero and that becomes uh, basically pc zero this becomes PC 20 okay so this basically tells us that now where we are going is 101 which is an A and then this tells us 4 this tells us C and the rest gives us zeros okay so so to, to the bottom line is this instruction basically is saying this is in a go to go to label um, label something new and if this go to based on the based on the problem statement uh, we know is sitting at 100 so the address of this is 100 and we know this whatever label is giant jumping to this label W that we named is sitting at 0 X C four A. Okay. And and so that's pretty much what this memory location, these are program memory location uh, that we're looking at tells us about what instruction instruction we're looking at. Okay. That brings us to uh, end of this this overview of uh, calls and and go-tos. Uh, we're going to revisit calls later then, as I mentioned earlier in this video.